and, and I know it's not always possible, but you can move the nest like five or 10 feet at a time to a safer location, to a more appropriate location. But you want to make sure that the parents are coming back to the nest every time you move it. And, and I know it's not always possible, but you can move the nest like five or 10 feet at a time to a safer location, to a more appropriate location. But you want to make sure that the parents are coming back to the nest every time you move it. Easy. So, it's you can find out pretty easily, but do you have any idea about this woman's pronunciation? Does she have an accent? Can you tell me maybe what accent she has? So there's a question, and I'll answer this tomorrow. You can leave your answers on box. What is the lady's accent? She has an accent. It's interesting because some parts of her accent is very similar to my grandmother, um, especially when she said this. Yeah, a little bit there. And my grandmother is not, uh, does not have this accent. She has a different accent, but that there's some similarities. So anyway, I was really surprised this killed almost everybody. I was really surprised. And many people just wrote appropriate. Really? Mm, that's different. Appropriate. Oh yeah. So yeah, the red these other ones are too and I let's go ahead and listen here. Let's go back and see what this lady says. And and I know it's not always possible and, and I know it's not always and and I know and I know and I know and I know and and, and the, so she says it twice and and I know and I know it's not all and I know it's not always possible and I know and I know so once again we got no D and I know it's not always possible and I know it's not it's not bring the S over here I know it's not excuse me not always flap T and I know it's not always and I know it's not always and I know it's not always possible and and I know it's not always possible but and and I know it's not always possible but. And, and I know it's not always possible, but you can move the name. But you can, can. So, uh, C-A-N-C-A-N-T. Somebody just asked me about those pronunciations. So let's talk about them real quick here. C-A-N almost always will sound like kun, kun. And C-A-N-T will almost always sound like can, can. Okay. That T can disappear. It can stop. It can be clean. I can't go. I can't go. I can't go. Perfect. Stop. Cancel. All of them were this. Perfect. I can't go. Stop. I can't go. Canceled. I can't go. But they're all the same. I can go. 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 But this lady said kin. Mm, accent. But you can, but you can, actually my grandma would say kin too. But you can move the nest like five, so let's listen, like five or ten feet at a time. And, and I know it's not always possible, but you can move the nest. And, and I know it's not always possible, but you can move the nest like five or ten feet at a time, like five or ten feet at a time, like five or ten feet at a time, like five or ten feet at a time. Like she's got a good. What's interesting to me is like her like I is fine, but the time I is different, right? So when she says like. Time should be the same, but what does she do? What does she say? Like five or ten feet at a time, like five or ten feet at a time. Time, time. Mmm, that is her accent. That's her accent. Like five or ten feet at a time, like five or ten feet at a time, like five or ten feet at a time. Yeah, that's how she says it. Like five or ten feet at a time, like five or ten feet at a time to a safer location to a. To, to a, a cipher, 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 cipher. Ooh, that's another accent. You guys did good there, though. To a safer location, to a more appropriate location, and to a more appropriate location.
to a more appropriate location to a more appropriate location to a more pro to a more pro to a more pro to a more appropriate it's not more pro it's more a pro more a pro more a pro more a pro there's a syllable there and that is definitely the uh definitely there to a more appropriate to a more pro to a more pro to a more pro to a more pro to a more appropriate to a more pro 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 to a more appropriate to a more appropriate location to a more appropriate location hopefully you can hear to a more appropriate 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 let me see if i can hold on a second i'm gonna copy i can't all right let's do this i'm gonna make a mess uh remove from copy bring it over here stretch five or ten feet at a time to a safer location to a more appropriate lo to a more appropriate to a more pro to a more appropriate that pause is all it takes to a more appropriate to a more appropriate now in real speed we can hear that we can sense that to a more appropriate to a more appropriate to a more appropriate location <laughs> she sounds bored to a more appropriate and, and i know it's not always possible but you can move the nest like five or ten feet at a time to a safer location to a more appropriate location to a more appropriate location to a more appropriate location but you want to make sure that the parent but you want to make sure that but you want to make sure that but you want to make sure that yeah so and I, I liked when you guys made a mistake here most of you wrote this but you won't good yeah because that's what it sounds like i agree that's what it sounds like but that's her accent she's saying want you want to go you won't but she's saying want yeah it's just her accent so is she wrong no, it's her accent. Is she right? No. Correct pronunciation is want, want. Now, remember, guys, I make pronunciation mistakes because in my head where I grew up, the way we say it, it's still some words are still in my head. And I just say our local, you know, the way I grew up. Uh, but there is a correct way. And in this case want is correct not won't but in her accent where she lives everybody says won't okay i won't i want you to i want you to call me i want you to call me i want you to like me <laughs> whatever but you want to make sure that the parent but you want to make sure that the but you want to make you want to make sure that the parents are but you want to make sure that the parents are coming back but you want to make sure that the parents are coming back the parents are coming back Hear that S? Parents are coming back. Parents are coming back to the parents are coming back to the nest. Every back to the nest. 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 Every time you move it. There you go. Two times. First time, repeat after me. And and I know it's not always possible, but you can move the nest. So if the if the nest is in a place you don't like. If you can, it's not always possible, but you can, if you can, you can move the nest like five or 10 feet at a time. So you can have the nest. Don't go 10 meters. That's too far. You can go like one and a half meters, maybe three meters. Okay. Uh, and that's, that's about it. But then the birds will find it and they'll go back to the nest. And then you can move it again if you have to. So it, it is possible to move a nest, but step by step, not, not a big distance uh, to a safer location, to a more appropriate location, okay? See, these birds here, I, I like them, but there is a problem. They poop in the area. And... Later, right now, Mikey and Jimmy are, you know, they're still pretty young. They don't really go outside and play here. But I'm sure they will when they're older. 
And then I don't want them playing by bird poop. So I'll probably have to move the nest. That makes me sad. Anyway, uh, but you want to make sure that the parents are coming back to the nest every time you move it. So when you move it, make sure the bird's parents come back. Then you can move it again. Make sure they come back. Then you can move it again and finally get it to a good, safe place. That's the idea, okay? I asked you, where is this woman from? Her accent. She has an accent. Great answers. Hajime said, reminds me of Tien Gage. Tien Gage from DDM 660. Uh, at the Red House, where white people and black people buy furniture. That was a great DDM. That's one of my favorite DDMs. Uh, and that Tien Gage was from North Carolina. That was North Carolina. North Carolina... South Carolina, boom, Georgia. Yep, this radio, or this radio, this TV station's from Macon, Georgia, right in the middle of Georgia. Jans and Alex got it. Yeah, they got it. It was Georgia. And, uh, uh, oh my God, I can see your name. I, I'm forgetting it because of the B. Uh, um, he says, I know it's not Australian, but it almost sounds Australian. Can you tell me why it's not Australian? Yeah, so I can't tell you why it's not Australian because I don't know enough Australian pronunciation. But what I will tell you, what I can tell you is uh, Georgia, a real Georgian person, uh, and unfortunately, we have to go to race because uh, white Georgians and black Georgians, uh, on average, have a different pronunciation. So we're talking about white Georgians, white people from Georgia. Um, they have a strong Georgian accent. It's a Georgian accent. And actually, it's very British. Now, when you listen to Georgian, Georgian people speak, and then you listen to a British person speak, they sound really different. But when you analyze the pronunciation, you realize actually it's very similar. A Georgian person's pronunciation is much more British than my pronunciation. But when you hear it, it doesn't sound that way. So Australian English is actually a variation of British English. And I think uh, that is where I want to, oh, man, I can't remember the name of the person who asked the question. That makes me really mad. Uh, and I think that's why it kind of sounds um, a little bit British or Australian. That's why uh, it's a little bit confusing. Bora. Bora. Bora is the one who asked the question. Yep. Thank you for the question. All right. Continuing. And, and I know it's not always possible, but you can move the nest like five or ten feet at a time to a safer location, to a more appropriate location. But you want to make sure that the parents are coming back to the nest every time you move it.